Hi. Rhino wrench. <laughs> <laughs> what does it actually look like? You look, uh, you look like some crazy cartoon character. I can't remember what it is, sir. The guy with the big brain. You should, uh, you should start the episode like that. Where's the... Where's the... Hey guys, welcome back to another... <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another episode and we're back on our Defender 90 TD5 project. Now this build is rapidly coming to a close and I kind of believe at the end of this week we're going to be finished with it. Now in the last episode you saw me kind of rebuild the rear windows. That window is still missing because I still need to work out how to tint it. But in today's episode, we, oh sorry, last episode as well, we also installed the snorkel, the front end, gave it a wash and installed the door cards. Now in this episode, we've got a number of fun stuff here. We had our new LED light bar arrive. And this is going to be more similar styling to our headlights and hence why I didn't want this kind of silvery chrome thing. Looks super cool, can't wait to install that. Also had our winch arrive and luckily it's an identical winch but it's just our carbon series one. The one that we actually initially ordered which is all blacked out so it's going to look great in our winch bumper and on the front end here. So in this episode we're going to be fitting up a clutch kit. Now as some of you may remember at the beginning of this build when we reversed out we had our spigot bearing or spigot bush shall I say, make a bit of a noise and it made a typical noise which is which means that this is spinning in the end of our crank. So we will be replacing this. But I want to take a moment out to thank our sponsor for this episode, which is Loft Clutches. Loft Clutches manufacture and engineer high performance, long life alternatives to the Land Rover factory fitted clutch. I've used them for a number of years and I think they're absolutely amazing in comparison to anything else I've used. I like packaged kits and this comes with everything you need to change your clutch and it genuinely is a very high performance and long lasting clutch. This is a TD5 Land Rover. These have a dual mass flywheel and we're going to be changing it to the Loft Clutches Power Spec Single Mass Flywheel Kit. So in our kit we have our Single Mass Flywheel Conversion Kit. Now CD5s typically run a dual mass flywheel which has a number of springs and that makes it easy on the transmission. However, after fitting these and I fitted a number of these, I really, really rate these. These are so good. I don't feel any difference on the clutch. I don't feel it's heavier in any way and it can just take some serious abuse. And one that's kind of kitted out for winching, lifted, stuff like that, or even remaps, which this one is gonna be remapped, it is absolutely essential to be fitting a kit like this. And then next time we have to do a clutch in a number of years, we won't need a single mass flywheel. We'll literally just need the clutch cover and plate. And that means that the job will be cheaper next time around. Loft clutches make three levels of kind of extremism, if you will. They do a road spec clutch, which is for you, just your normal daily driver. They do a power spec clutch, which is what you see in front of me here. And they also do an extreme spec for those things more like sort of challenge trucks, heavy towing, stuff like that. However, for the most part, a power spec clutch will do pretty everything you can throw at it. It comes with a heavy duty release bearing, an organic clutch, uprated springs, and obviously our single mass flywheel conversion kit, which is gonna make it not rattle and make it stronger in the long run. We've also got in our clip new, new bolts, uprated spring clips, the rest of it, because our typical problems with, with the, the TD5 model in particular is the, uh, the push rod will fall out of its clip and then you have to do a slave cylinder or, or access the gearbox to rectify that issue. These come with uprated clips so that problem doesn't happen. We've got all new bolts in the kit. You really have everything we require to do the job here and get the job done properly. And it's, one, it's a one-time fit, you fit and forget, and you won't notice any difference on the clutch pedal. Now, I've used loft clutches and I only use loft clutches and I really do rate them. I'm, of course, this episode is sponsored. However, I genuinely believe in the product. I know it's actually really good. I fitted hundreds of them and I've had no problems with them. They really are a decent clutch. So guys, I'm gonna leave a discount code, which is Juice Motors, all in capitals, and this will give you a discount at the checkout. So don't forget to check them guys out. So guys, in addition to fitting our heavy duty full clutch kit, this is literally every single piece inside the gearbox that we need to replace to have a brand new clutch. We're also gonna be fitting a clutch spring, which makes this lighter from loft clutches again. Now one of these will make your clutch 15 to 20% lighter and literally bang for buck, if your clutch is okay, fit one of these springs, they're about 20 quid, and it's well worth the money. It will halve the effort on your clutch and it makes it so much easier to drive in the city and the rest of it. I will be honest, they're a bit of a nightmare to change, so be prepared to swear. However, it is when it's done, unbelievable difference. So we're gonna be fitting a full package here. Again, guys, please check out Loft Clutches. Discount code is gonna be left in the description, which is Juice Motors, and that will give you a discount at the checkout. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go and check out Loft Clutches, but let's get on with this episode be fitting guys this is not provided by loft but we're going to be fitting front and rear diff pinion seals very common on a defender on the differential pinion seals they will leak out your ep90 or your axle oil and um, this is leaking ever so slightly so we're just going to chuck these in whilst we have the props off so we can also replace these so this episode we're going to be fitting a lot of goodies this whole kit led light bar winch pinion seals and then whew, we'll do the windows in another episode but there's going to be one or two episodes left and this car is going to be ripping somewhere near you. 
I also forgot, I have a helper here, and Leon, you're gonna see a lot more of Leon. Leon is now my full-time member of Juice, and he is uh, as passionate as me as Defenders. Leon has plenty of experience in Land Rovers in general. He's been a mechanic for 17 years. He's had seven to eight years of main dealer experience. He is just an unbelievable technician, and he's gonna be helping me today because a gearbox is not an easy task. You won't be doing it on your own. Uh, if you do, you may break your toe. Um, and he's going to help me, and we're just going get, to get this job done. So there's going to be some, this is going to be a fun episode, and I hope that you're going to enjoy watching this episode. So grab a drink, put your feet up, and um, we'll do the hard work, eh?
boom. So it looks old. The material actually looks okay. It's not the worst I've seen. It's not the best I've seen. Um, it has some life left in it. It wasn't slipping too badly. It's slightly old and rusty and looks dry. Um, do my spy wheel. This is where we'll check. So on a new one, you wouldn't be able to move left and right. And this one has certainly got some play, which means that the inside of the Dumas flywheel is worn out. And obviously if you're towing and stuff like this, this, this will increase the feeling of your backlash. Uh, when you take up drive, when you take up slack, that will increase that, that bang that you're getting um, when you're taking up your drive. And that's because it's having to take up that slack on the drive. So we're gonna be changing this for one that doesn't have any slack at all, which is a single mass flywheel. This initially was put in place to reduce the transmission vibration that would be received at the gearbox and make for a smoother ride, if you will. The single mass flywheel kit, I cannot express how good it is and feels still super comfortable. I would never know that it didn't have a dual mass flywheel. And it's more suited to a Defender utilitarian needs, hence why vans and stuff like that rarely have a dual mass flywheel. So I really rate changing it to a single mass flywheel. While we're also here is because we've got an oil leak around here. So behind the flywheel, the rear end crank seal, which is a remote oil seal, that is gonna be leaking. So we're gonna take that off, take everything down, strip everything, and then also change our brass bush inside here because you can see that it's worn out. You can see that our crank has been spinning on the inside of this and that was our noise and that's what needs changing. So we're gonna strip all of this down and then we're also gonna change into our gearbox here. We're gonna change our bearing here, which sounds a little bit dry. We're gonna change the clips and then the rod holder here, which actually holds the push rod for our clutch slave cylinder. So we're gonna strip everything down, regrease this shaft, build everything up and then we've got everything back together and test it. And then we'll have a lifelong, stronger, heavy duty clutch. So part of the problem and part of our solution kind of kit here is the only thing holding our clutch fork to our throw out bearing is this little plastic peg. And you sort of see, well, it just easily just popped out there. And so this peg, which is literally made of plastic, will get brittle over time. And um, 
it's probably just a not really a permanent solution. Obviously it's lasted this long, so credit to it, but there is a much better solution. This bearing you replaced just because it's had it and we got a heavy duty one with our kit. So we're gonna assemble this and we're gonna have a much better solution. We're also gonna change this little So you want to put some strawberry flavour jam on these bits. Just where they rub, you see here as well. So that's going to go something like that. Like that. Now you can see that's a much stronger solution. Obviously this is going to be a fix, this is going to be a fix here. There's no way that that clip can back out. our clutch job effectively we've done the clutch now it's just reassembly so we've got our power spec clutch single mass flywheel conversion new rear main oil seal new clutch clutch plate extreme spec bearing all the new rods clips everything it's now time to get the gearbox send it back home bolt everything together and um, make sure it all works So we're gonna pull the car forward and then we're gonna fit our little light, light uh, clutch spring. And obviously this is our first test where it's on the floor. So we can actually see, well, for a start, if we've done the job correctly. Ah. Oh. Beautiful. So, oh, it feels already so much better and it's only going to get better because we're going to make it super light so we can engage the handbrake switch it off and then we can fit 
our new spring, which is painted green for performance. And um, well, make our clutch nice and light. So not that it's heavy, it's exactly the same as if it was standard, even though it is now like a, an, an increased spec one. But now we're about to make it about 40% lighter with this, which makes all the difference when it comes to city driving, normal road driving, just in general, you don't have to push so hard on the clutch. Um, these are agricultural vehicles and this makes a big difference. So I really rate this one. Even if you, don't, you guys aren't due a clutch yet, definitely go onto Loft and buy one of these. Juice Motors is a discount code. Put a Leon on the case here because I've done this many times. I, I hate it. <laughs> oh, it's unclipped, it's unclipped. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a Leon job. He's just so good at really frustrating stuff. Um, my job, but what? Just an idea. What did you have an idea with? <laughs> oh, the pipe work thing on the way. So that just sits in there, that goes around like that. <laughs> so we finally got the, the spring assist little pedally thing in fitted and it makes the pedal about 40% lighter. So it's, it's absolutely essential we get one. They're a bit of a pain to fit, I'll be honest, but persevere with it and you'll have a very light clutch and it's a permanent thing. So it's definitely worth doing. Kit's all fitted, car's running perfectly and we got it done in really good time today. Obviously it makes a difference if you've got two two people who know what they're doing, then it makes it so much easier in terms of just getting the job done. And it's so much easier having two sets of hands to basically pull the gearbox back and the rest of it. And we've also done the front and rear diff pinion seal, which means that all we've got tomorrow morning to do, it needs an A-frame ball joint in the back to stop the axle rotating. Uh, the gator looks a little bit worn, so we can change one of those. And we're gonna give it a full service. I'm gonna focus on doing the window rebuild and getting those windows tinted. We're gonna change the LED light bar, fit the winch, Ooh, and then we're very close, aren't we? So, I mean, that will literally be pretty much it done. So, oh, I can't wait to show you guys the full reveal. But um, I'm gonna have a tidy up here tonight and I'll catch you guys bright and early. Guys, it's the next morning, obviously. And I'm focusing on these windows rebuilds, which are just here. I've managed to tint one window successfully. Um, it's going well. However, when I put it back in the frame, we'll find out if I'm gonna ruin it. Um, but Leon here is going to, he's waving over here. He's gonna be servicing this, so, the differentials, front and rear, transfer box, gearbox, and he's gonna flush the engine uh, oil for another time and give it some new filters. But since it's rebuilt, um, we wanna make sure that every um, bit of water is out of the engine that was in, obviously from the head gasket when the head was cracked. So gonna be giving it a full service now. I'm gonna put him on the time-lapse and I'm gonna be rebuilding, the rebuilding this window in secrecy because I know that if I show you, I'll mess it up. <laughs> However, if I've done this one successfully, then I'll get the other window out and I'll show you guys the process. So you're gonna watch Leon now, fully service this Defender TD5. self-proclaimed genius I've managed to actually do it and do it correctly and it looks pretty good and I was really really chuffed with it <laughs> and I thought I better check I've got enough tint um, for the other window and I don't <laughs> so I'm gonna have to order another tint for this girl so after all of my hard work and I'm actually really happy with this finish um, I'm getting a little bit nervous about the rear window, the rear little lights, and then the Alpine lights as well. It's just gonna be past my skill set, and I'm not gonna waste my time. This is gonna be one of those things that I'm just gonna call out my friend Steve. He's gonna tackle the project, and I know that he's gonna make it absolutely perfect, whereas this is just not gonna be good enough. I can do these because it's plain glass. However, I'm actually really happy with it. It looks great, but it's just not gonna be as good as Steve, how he's gonna do it. So I'm happy I rebuilt the window, and I'm gonna pull the other window out, I'm gonna rebuild that window. 
However, I'm just gonna leave this, but I've gotta peel this off, otherwise Steve will have a load of adhesive to get rid of, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ruin my hard work. This one didn't actually come out that too well. That was about an hour right there. That's great. And the other one, this was actually quite a good window, but we don't want to leave any markings. We'll get this one off. So guys, we've got our new winch on the floor, and this, I've gotta say, this one looks so much better than the old one. The other one was a luminous orange. I'm sure they've done that on purpose so that you go and buy this one, which is more expensive, but this is one I initially ordered anyway. Ocean thinks it's uh, perfect to fit in. So we're gonna fit this one now. First, we're gonna fit the fair lead, fit the winch, do all the wiring that we did last time, and hopefully this one actually works and it's gonna look so much better on this bumper and this bumper assembly will look complete. So let's get this installed. Moment of truth, guys, does this winch work? Sure. Yes. That's our grill fit. Immediately, that looks so much better. Much better than that luminous orange thing we had previously. And our grill fits perfectly with this one as well. And it's now time to install our new light bar to replace this thing up here. I think we can all agree that that looks much more fitting. It's so much brighter as well, actually. The previous one was very bright, but this one's like a strict pencil beam. Looks so, so cool. They all look good with them on. However, this one just is super bright, but it has the same pattern as the headlights, looking really, really fresh. And matches our rear work lights, our LEDs, just everything's now really, really coming together. Hey guys, that's our brand new loft Power spec clutch kit, single mass flywheel conversion kit, TD5. Also the loft little uh, pedally spring thing. We've got our light bar installed and our winch installed. And I'm definitely gonna hand over the windows to Steve. Um, Steve is great. I've, I've used him before and things at like Range Rovers and stuff like that. And he's just unbeatable. I really thought I'd be able to do it with bare panes of glass, but it's tint is like, is, is genuinely harder than I actually thought. Um, it's got like a bit of a grain to it and it's just not something I'm gonna be able to pick up on the spot and get this thing perfect. And it's just something, sometimes you just gotta call in the experts and I'll see how he's done it and maybe it's something for the future, but for now, I just wanna get this thing done and wrapped up 
and definitely having all these windows tinted is something for a professional. A Defender is definitely not the easiest vehicle to start on. Um, all the glass has got to come out, the wind all out the body, so to get it all done properly. So Steve is going to come up next week and I'll show you guys the finished article next week, but that should give us some time to basically wrap up the rest of this. Um, the next video is going to be quite interesting as well because it's pretty much done, so it's now just snagging. Sort the rest out, put the badges on, give it all a clean up, machine polish it, um, and then like some fine, fine and finer details. And then I can, we can show you guys what we've created, what we started with, and then there'll be a final video, which I'm hoping will be a bit more sort of like cinem cinema, cin what's it? Cin cinematic, cinematic, that's the word, where it's all really beautiful and we get this thing in the perfect light, the perfect setting. So super excited to show you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we've got a lot of work done on the, on the mechanical side, and I'm really happy with that winch where it is, somewhere around here. Looks so much better than that luminous orange thing. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and um, I hope that you guys are enjoying my channel. Please, as usual, please don't forget to let me know what you think in the thoughts with your thoughts and comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. Please do like, comment and subscribe. It means a lot. And um, I will catch you guys for the next video. This car. this car is rapidly coming to a close and this episode we're going to be doing a bit more mechanical <laughs> stuff. What the f*** was that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a big sticker. Oh, that's much better. Two big stickers. Well, you're going to have that on the car. <laughs> Why not? Okay, that's cool. You should, uh, you should